yo what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video so in today's video we're going to be going over all the stages of maple story and what were the most enjoyable to least enjoyable in my opinion i'm going to be going over everything from initially getting into the game starting links and legions to the end game level where you're prepping for late game bosses or end game bosses like kalos and cowling so with that being said Let's get right into the video. Earlier on in the game, the game is going to feel extremely fresh. It's going to feel exciting. There's going to be lots of progression for you to do. In my opinion, this is one of the most fun times in the game of Maple because you're being either reintroduced or you're coming into a completely new game. And as a new player, there are a ton of things to do. Everything from links to Legion to training to figuring out which bosses are good, to figuring out new quests that you can do. In my opinion, this is one of the best times in the game. A lot of other players, they sometimes say this is an overwhelming point in the game, but for me, I really enjoyed this because I always like when there's new things to do and always like a new uh, goal that you can kind of try to work towards. This is a very motivating time in the game for a lot of players because you are unlocking you know, new forms of, of damage like Legion and Lynx, and you are getting up in, in levels and then kind of progressing past that initial level 200. And there's a lot of easy progression to be made. Cubing your gear from rare to epic is big upgrades and, and star forcing your gear from like zero to 12 stars. It's all upgrades that you consistently make over and over and over again. And you know, just overall, this is, this is a great part of the game. Now, once you move from early to mid game, now you're kind of progressing into that point where, you know, you're, you're getting out of Pencilier gear and now you're moving into that CRA and APSO region of the game. This is still a point in the game where you are making a lot of upgrades. There are still a lot of things to do. Uh, new content finally becomes available and you can finally start running bosses with other people in the game. A CRA and APSO, it's still slightly a challenge. I know for me initially when I had first started Maple, CRA was not easy and you had to find a party to run with. And same thing with Lomian. So I would say this is still a very new and exciting part of the game. And a lot of the content that you see people doing, you're now able to begin to do for yourself as well. Now, at this point though, dailies do start to become a thing. And, and I know for a lot of other people, they're not really a fan of dailies, but I know for me initially, when I had started doing dailies at this mid point in the game, you know, you first initially get to Arcana, Flatulin, and you know, move from those 200s to 235 areas. Dailies, they're slightly, they, they're slightly a chore, but they are still new and they, they, they are still fun to do because you are still leveling up your symbols fast and fast and fast. And for me, I liked that a lot. I thought that was very exciting. Every week being able to either train on a new map that would be unlocked because of Arcane Force, or just overall gaining more stat from the Arcane power that you you do slightly begin to raise week over week over week. Making upgrades is still relatively easy and you can still make a lot of relatively easier gains like getting to 15 stars, cubing your gear to unique for 15% stat. And it's just an enjoyable process overall. You also get to that area where you know you start thinking about pushing your legion from three to six K and moving your links up from level one to level two or level two to level three. So I think this is a really fun part of the game still. And overall, it's still very exciting and there's still a lot of new things that you're unlocking every every other week. It's a good time in Maple when you get to that midpoint. There is something though that becomes relevant and that's called the mid-game itch. A lot of people don't know what the mid-game itch is, but you do figure it out when you get to that midpoint level in the game. You want to start itching to make upgrades, getting to like later bosses as fast as you can. And this is when upgrading becomes slightly more apparent than any other point in the game. Once you're past that mid game area, now you move into that late game area. This is when dailies do slightly become a chore for some people. For me personally, I don't really mind dailies too much, so it's never really been a problem for me. They do, for some people, become a slight chore and it's not new anymore. There's not as much new content. You've unlocked all of the Arcane River dailies and you've probably gotten to the point where you've unlocked Arcus um, and potentially maybe even Odium, but now gear becomes a lot harder to make. So you're not making like those 15 star, 17 star upgrades. Now a lot of the gains that you're gonna be making are 22 stars. For some people that can be discouraging, but for me, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was exciting trying to push the gear from 17 to 20 stars and to 22 stars. Obviously there's gonna be points where, you know, you don't really get lucky and you get unlucky and it does suck, but it is fun making those upgrades 
and trying to finish the gear that you've, you've worked so hard to get. This is the point of the game where you're now finishing all of your links, you getting all of your links to level three, you're min maxing all those little areas in the game, like your links and your legion. And even though there isn't a lot of new content that's being released to you, there is still a lot of new content that you can look forward to. And this is when Black Mage does become available to you at this point in the game. And it brings back that party play aspect that I know a lot of people were missing. And this is when it, it jumps into like a new segment of the game. And I, I think that's really fun for a lot of a lot of players. And I know for myself, it was very fun as well. This is also when I believe that mid game itch is the highest in the game. I think this is when people start to tap off event the most. They just start to make the smallest upgrades. This is when you're like, oh, if I just make this one upgrade, I can finally, I can finally solo this one boss. And it just becomes, <laughs> you always just want to make this, these upgrades time and time and time again at this late game stage. For me personally, I really enjoyed all these stages of the game. Uh, late game was very fun for me because of Black Mage, but once you move past this late game stage, now you move into a point called the end game. This is when pretty much all of your gear is done. You know, you're probably sitting around 55 to 60k. All of your gear is true three line. It's all 22 starred. You've now liberated most of your dailies, like your arcane dailies, are all done. So you're just working towards Cernium, Burnium, and Odium. For me, this is when the game feels very like relaxed. You don't feel like that form of FOMO anymore. You're not like, oh, I need to make this upgrade because if I don't make this upgrade, I'm not gonna be able to solve this boss. You kind of realize that making certain upgrades aren't the end of the world and and you start waiting more for events like if you want to three line something or double prime something you're probably going to end up waiting for an event and you start to learn a little bit of maple patience <laughs> at this point in the game i know it took a while to learn but you finally learn the patience that waiting for events sometimes can be worth it new content starts to come slowly at this point but you are excited for it when it gets there so for an example i'm at an end game point i'm clearing most of the bosses but but Kalos gets released and it becomes very exciting to start practicing that boss like with my party and then even calling just like seeing people in KMS clear the boss or try to clear the boss really exciting and just seeing the new content that we have to look forward to becomes like very exciting at this point in the game too there's not really any more mid game itch like I explained you know, you're kind of just like upgrading if you feel like it and if you don't you're not like it's not the end of the world kind of feeling it's very satisfying to make small upgrades for example, like when I double prime a piece of gear, even though it's not like a huge, huge upgrade, it feels very satisfying. Even leveling at this point, going from 283 to 284, like it's not a huge thing at all, but it feels super satisfying. Even though the goals become much bigger or more time consuming, when you do finally get to them, you know, it feels more accomplishing when you get when you get there. At this point in the game, you know, you can potentially think of making new mains. At this point so it's very fun and, and you can kind of work on other characters or classes that you do like to play so that can become fun for a lot of players and overall you just enjoy playing a lot of other classes from like your boss rules and in that aspect in that side of the game there's also really not a lot of pressure for you to do anything you know like misty island ursus golix Ma maple tour you don't feel the pressure to do every single thing in the game possible if you feel like doing something you're gonna do it if you don't you're not gonna do it that's the one thing that i really like about the end game stage of, of of maple is it's it can feel relaxed at times but now that we've gone through everything from early mid late to end game i want to hear from you guys what you think the most enjoyable part of maple is and and where you are in the game if you're an early game player mid game player late game player or end game player i love to hear it i want to see it in the comment section down below but with that being said that is going to wrap up the rest of the video for today I hope you guys did enjoy, and as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!